Louis on a Tuesday night. It's an awful long way for Grantham to come, uh, not to Dunstan as it turned out, to a concert because of the state of the pitch at, uh, at Dunstan. Playing here on the 3G, players unavailable tonight to you, players coming in on loan and making their debut, and, uh, and also uh, players from the under-16s in, uh, in the squad. Uh, everything seems stacked against Grantham, but great point. Great character from the boys, to be fair. Um, like I said, we, we didn't start off great first 10 minutes. I thought I thought they were a really good side, to be fair. Probably the best I've played since, obviously, I've been uh, I've taken over. Um, and, and from when they scored minute 10 to, to minute 45, I thought we were the better team. I thought we moved the ball really, really well. Got into nice little pockets and, and the areas that we wanted to, to try and hurt these in. Um, second half, we were a bit more defensive. Not 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 part of the game plan. But I think it naturally, when you're, when you're coming away from home to one of the best teams in the league, I think it naturally happens. But what we did is we defended the box really Really well, and um, we had the opportunity, and um, and, we, and we've probably took a, a point which we, we probably deserve again. Dunstan throughout the game played some very swift passing football at times, moved the ball around well, and in the opening ten minutes when they got that goal, it could have been easy for Grantham to a crumble, but uh, the Gingerbreads kept closing Dunstan down, giving them very little room, uh, and, uh, and and as you say, matched them for for the second for most of the first half, and got a well deserved equaliser. Yeah, again. I keep using this word, but personality in the boys is fantastic. We go 1-0 down, we've travelled nearly three and a half hours to get here on a Tuesday night. Some of the lads have finished work at really early and lost out on money. Um, and we go 1-0 down and then they play like they did for the last 35 minutes of the first half. And it just shows what we've got in this group. It's young, it's hungry and um, they keep playing like that. We're, we're in a really, really, really good place. With the way that Dunstan played in the second half, they continued to pass the ball around. They seemed to lose a little bit of pace about their game. Uh, and Grantham were able, in many ways, just to uh, to sit deep. You say that they defended too deep for, you, for your liking at times. But Grantham were able to sit and let Dunstan pass the ball about without them really hurting the gingerbreads. Yeah, they're, they're a good side. Um, they moved the ball really well. I think it suited them being on this surface, to be fair. I think the home one's not at the best at the moment. So it suited them more here. The rotations are good. Um, they tried to do, they did something a little bit different in the second and half and, and, and probably force us a bit back but I said at Belper if we defend the box better um, you know Curtis again tonight hasn't really had much to do in goal um, so you know we, he, it's not like he's pulling out and got man the match I think you know as a as an outfielder 10 we, we, we press the ball we we're aggressive in, in the areas we wanted to be in, and like I said defend the box really well so no really pr pleased with, uh, with all, uh, all the players tonight as we went into the uh, seven minutes of added time that actually was eight and a half, uh, it looked more like Grantham were going to nick the uh, the three points than, than Dunstan. Yeah, what we said um, we, when Curtis went down with the with the injury, um, I just said we have to if we go, we are going to sit a little bit deeper, which has happened naturally. We just have to be braver with our passing when we have to with that first pass. We have to we have to play through them and then we get counter attack chances and we did. And and I still thought we were a threat. And I think that ha what that helped with was they couldn't just throw bodies forward because we had that the threat on the counter attack. They had to keep two, three. Four, Four back sometimes, which then means we had more bodies defending in, in, in an overloaded net in our favour. So um, yeah, no, to have that punch, I always talk about it. Keep punching the, the opponent on the nose, and, and you never know what might have happened near the end. And uh, it has to be said, uh, which is probably the curse of it, and I do apologise if it is. It's not a bad start to 2024 for Grant. For the first month of the uh, the year, the gingerbread's unbeaten. Yeah, I'd like more points. Um, we're only on we're only on six because obviously one win and, and three draws, but you know, three away draws. So and, and and this is obviously a really really difficult place to come. So proud of the boys. We've got a massive one Saturday, and, and if we lose that, it undoes all our good work over the over the last week. So we have to be ready for Saturday. They're going to be a good test, and um, if we if we play like that, it gives us again another great opportunity to to get more points on the board. Louis, thank you very much. Well done tonight. No, thank you.